welcome what does true love look like there's a famous bible passage that tells us all about it today let's take a closer look scripture prema dirga kalamu sahinchanu daya chupinchanu prema matsarapadam prema dambamuga pravartimpadu adi uppangal ఒకటి కొరంధీలకు పదమూడు నాలుగు హాయ్ దిస్ ఇస్ క్రిస్ కెయిన్ టుడేస్ రీడింగ్ ఇస్ ఫ్రమ్ ఫస్ట్ క్రింతియన్స్ చాప్టర్ థర్టీన్ వర్స్ ఫోర్ స్క్రిప్చర్ సెస్ లవ్ ఇస్ పేషెంట్ అండ్ కైండ్ లవ్ డస్ నాట్ ఎన్వి ఓ బోస్ట్ ఇట్ ఈస్ నాట్ అరగెంట్ వెల్ దట్ సర్టన్లీ డిఫర్స్ from what we see in the love movies on television or at the movies love is patient i wonder how we've been monitoring our patience and are we kind are we acting with kindness with everyone around us as we're scrolling through our social media feeds are we comparing and contrasting or competing or envious do we post something that's more of a boast than a post trying to bless somebody else do we walk through life with humility or arrogance if we want to walk with the love of god and of course god is love and we want to reflect the character and nature of god on our earth then today let's make a decision that we're going to operate in patience we're going to be kind in all of our interactions we're not going to envy anyone else there's enough love of god to go around for everybody and we are not going to be a people that boast or are arrogant but we're going to walk in humility like our savior i know that if we walk with an attitude of love then we will bless everyone in our path today reflect what's one thing about love that stands out to you someone rooted in love chooses to show love even when it's difficult someone rooted in love looks out for other people's best interests someone rooted in love knows who they are and who they are not the best choice would be someone rooted in love chooses to show love even when it's difficult సో డివేషనల్ గా ద గ్రేటెస్ట్ ఈస్ లవ్ లవ్ ఈస్ నాట్ అ ఫీలింగ్ ఆల్ దో వెన్ వీ లవ్ సమ్ వన్ సచ్ ఎస్ అవర్ స్పౌస్ ఓ చిల్డ్రన్ వీ ఫీల్ ఆల్ సార్ట్స్ ఆఫ్ ఫీలింగ్స్ అండ్ ఎమోషన్స్ లవ్ ఈస్ అ చాయిస్ వీ మేక్ ఎమోషన్స్ అండ్ ఫీలింగ్స్ ఆర్ ప్రొడ్యూస్డ్ త్రూ లవ్ వీ చూస్ విత్ అదర్స్ లవ్ ఈస్ అ చాయిస్ Paul says that love is patient and kind. We all we are able to love others through our actions of kindness and patience. If you are going through a dry spell in your marriage, it does not mean you have to behave in a lovey-dovey way. In any relationship where you feel bothered and annoyed, remind yourself that you are Oh, sorry remind yourself that you were called and created to love others even the rude lady at the post office love is selfless our society and culture tell us to do you meaning to not think of others and do everything for yourself i believe jesus would disagree he was all about relationships Jesus even asked us to love our enemies. This does not mean making an enemy your friend or allowing toxic relationships in your life. It means hoping the best from them and not wishing them any harm. When we love our enemies, we are acting as our heavenly father. Love is hopeful and endures. through every circumstance think about those moments in your life that it was through love that you made it relationships are restored through love the feelings of love are not always there but we choose to love and though love's power we make it 
think about those who run marathons and I would never believe running 26.2 miles in any task, in an easy task. Yet, thousands of people do it often for the love of running. Surely, some want to give up, but they choose to keep going. Love does not lose faith. You will, be, you will only be able to truly love through God's power in you. Love will come easily with certain relationships. In others, only God can help you to choose kindness, even when you do not feel like it. With God, you will be able to react patiently and not to lose faith, remaining hopeful. Why? Because God is love. We are able to love others, including our enemies, because He first loved us. Without God, it is nearly impossible to love people we do not like. Disliking others and being irritable comes naturally to us. We need His supernatural work within us. See God, His word says that faith, hope, love last forever. Yet the greatest of these always love. So love is the answer. Lord, please help me to recognize and demonstrate true love when I feel overwhelmed. Help me to preserve. When I feel insecure, give me strength to look out for the interests of others. Replace jealousy and pride with humility and patience. And above all, show me how to love like you, you have loved me. In Jesus' name, Amen. Love is patient. Love is kind. Thanks for spending time with us today. We look forward to seeing you tomorrow.